If I be an oracle of God, may this grace heal diabetes. May this grace. Open our eyes of understanding. Open our eyes of understanding. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And somebody shouted, Amen. Amen. Thank you. May be seated with a Jesus smile. In Jesus' name. Commanding miracles in your life. Kuamuru miujiza maishani mwako. Commanding miracles in your life. Kuamuru miujiza katika maisha yako. Follow and follow me very closely. Wewe ni fate kwa makini. Amen and amen. Amen. Miracles don't just happen. Miujiza haitende kitu. They are made to happen. Lakini inasababishwa kutendeka. And there is a world called the world of miracles. Na kuna ulimwengu na oitu ulimwengu wa miujiza. There is a world called the world of failures. Kuna ulimwengu wa kushindwa. There is a world called the world of finances. Kuna ulimwengu wa feather. There is a world of the married. Kuna ulimwengu wa ndoa. Everything is in his own world. Kila jambo liko katika ulimwengu wake. That's what we need to understand. Hilo ni jambo tunapaswa kujua. Life and destiny does not depend on your emotions. Ya kwamba maisha na hati mahazitegemei hisia zako. Life and destiny does not depend on the sincerity of your heart. Maisha na hati ma Haitegemei uwazi wa moyo wako alone peke yake there is something on top of that lakini kuna mengine zaidi yake there is something on top of that kuna zaidi ya hiyo your health does not depend on proteins alone afya yako haitegemei protein peke yake if you live on proteins alone maana wewe ukitegemea protein peke yake you will be disabled in one area kuna sehemu ya mwili italema your body or physical health does not depend on starch alone. Mwili ama afya yako haitegemei starch peke yake. It is a combination of all vitamins. Lakini ni vitamins za kila namna. Aha, and uh, during this pandemic, na wakati wa hili janga, it is always suggested by medics. Inapendekezwa na madaktari. Spend at least 20 to 30 minutes in the sun. Ya kwamba uote jua angalau dakika 20 30. But because of our big-headed Africans. Lakini kwa sababu ya wa Afrika kuwa kichwa ngumu. We don't care whether we are in the sun or wherever. Hatujali kama tuko kwa jua ama hatuko. Normally advisable during this pandemic at least spend 15 to 20 minutes in the sun. Lakini unashauri wakati huu hasa ukae kwa jua dakika 20 ama 30 because the vitamins you get from the sun is not in the food maana vitamins unavyopata kwa jua haviko kwa vyakula and because of ignorance that is why we suffer lakini kwa sababu ya kutojua ndio sababu tunaumia but majorly life and destiny depends on the knowledge of god ya kwamba hatima na maisha inategemea ufahamu wa mungu and understanding his ways na wewe kuzijua njia zake understanding his ways 
ways. Wewe kuzielewa njia zake. Isaiah 55 verse number 8. Kitabu cha Isaia sura ya 55 mstari wa 8. Commanding miracles in your life. Kuamuru miujiza maishani mwako. Now God speaks in the realm of God. Sasa Mungu anazungumza kama Mungu. He speaks in his own realm. Anazungumza katika kiwango chake mwenyewe. But God has always desired you being on earth to operate in the same realm as God. Lakini Mungu ameishi kutaka wewe ukiishi duniani utendeze kama Mungu. And that is why he said to Moses, I have made you a god. Na ndio akamwambia Musa nimekufanya wewe kuwa Mungu. I don't have to come to Egypt. Sio lazima mimi nije Misri. If you can command what I command in the spirit, you can command it in the physical. Kama kile ninaamuru katika roho unaweza amuru katika kawaida. So I don't have to confront Pharaoh. Kwa hivyo sio lazima mimi nikabiliane na farao. I make you a god to him. Na kufanya wewe uwe Mungu kwa You can command miracles on my behalf. Na utaamuru miujiza kwa niaba yangu. I am in heaven but you can command miracles on earth. Mimi niko mbinguni lakini wewe uamuru miujiza duniani. I want to show you something very very important. Ningetaka nikuoneshe jambo ambalo ni muhimu. Something very very important. Jambo ambalo ni muhimu zaidi. He says 55 verse 8. Isaia 55 mstari wa 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Maana mawazo yangu sio mawazo yenu my thoughts are not your thoughts mawazo yangu sio mawazo yenu neither are your ways my ways wala njia zenu sio njia zangu so there are two things here hapa kuna vitu viwili that makes man and god different yanayofanya mungu na mwanadamu wawe tofauti number one is this My thoughts are not your thoughts. Kwanza anasema mawazo yangu sio mawazo yenu. So if I can think like God, kwa hivyo mimi nikawaza kama Mungu, then I live like God. Basi nitaishi kama Mungu. Aha. Are you here? Are you in the service? <laughs> can I hear an amen? <laughs> amen. <laughs> May God punish everyone who brought co covid in africa Mungu ampige kila alieleta corona Africa Whoever designed co masks Yeyote aliyetengeneza na kuamua barakoa The tailor who tailored them Yule fundi alizishona <laughs> May he live with them forever Aishi <laughs> nazo milele Do you know there are people making money out of masks Unajua kuna watu wanapata pesa kwa hizi barakoa You've heard them call COVID-19 billionaires. <laughs> COVID They will not enrich my, uh, themselves on my health. In Jesus name. Hatika so jina even if you have a mask just say amen. Amen. If you are not able if you shake your head I'll know you are in agreement. Aha. When you shake otherwise I'll know you are not hearing. <laughs> amen. Amen. Is it my thoughts? Mawazo yangu are not your thoughts sio kama mawazo yenu so when a man begins to think like god kwa hivyo mwanadamu akianza kuwaza kama mungu like the tower of babel kama vile mnara wa babeli they became a threat to god wakawa tisho kwake mungu I understand it. Amen. So we want to know how to command miracles in your life. Unapaswa kujua jinsi ya kuamuru miujiza maishani mwako. God saw the people in Genesis 11. Mungu akawaona hawa watu katika mwanzo 11. They build a tower and they said we will reach God. Wakijenga mnara na kusema tutamfikia Mungu. And God intercepted by saying. Mungu akakatiza kwa kusema. What man has thought. Chochote mwanadamu amewaza or imagine ama kufikiria no man can stop it hakuna mtu atamzuia when somebody begins to think like god mtu akianza kuwa ku, na mawazo you kama mungu you command results like god utapata matokeo kama mungu that is why a man like elijah na ndio sababu mtu kama elia he operated in the realm that scared even heaven alitendeza katika kiwango kilichotishia hata bingu he would command fire and kill people maana angeitisha moto na kuua watu did the unusual alifanya mambo yasiyo ya kawaida and god knew that this man may not die na mungu 
Let me transfer him back to heaven with his body. Because he's is commanding things in the realm of God. Somebody say, I hear you. I hear you. So if you are able to know this realm of commanding miracles, your prayer life will be comfortable. You will be enjoying results gradually. Now listen to this. Results in the kingdom. They are not intentional. Any results you see in this world is not intentional. It is orchestrated to happen. Somebody say, I hear you. I hear so you. results in the kingdom, they don't just happen, they are made to happen. Things in the kingdom happen by a combination nation of kingdom laws. Kingdom laws. Just the way you cannot survive on proteins. You need starch. You need vitamin C. You need a combination of things to be healthy. So in the same way on earth is a combination of spiritual laws. A good man marriage does not just happen. It's a combination of laws. One being love. Secondly, faithfulness. Another one, trust. It's a combination of things. Somebody say, I hear you. I hear so you. God says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. The way you are thinking even now in the service. The others who are thinking, what will I cook? There are people thinking, how will my chicken know the door and have closed? So God can't think that way. There are other things the thoughts of God are totally different. So when men begin to think like God, we experience heaven on earth. You will not desire to go there because there has already come here. So success does not just happen. It's a combination of laws. Spiritual laws. And everybody's destiny is not easy to attain. It is not easy to attain or achieve destiny, especially on this side of the world. Called Africa. There are things you labor for all your life. And life without the assistance of God. The assistance of God. It becomes fruitless and hard. Difficult and painful. So life without the assistance. Of God, you are disadvantaged. What makes life easy is the mode of transport you use. As we live here, there are those who will drive home. There are those who will walk home. There are those who will wait for tuk-tuk. Others may walk. Want boda boda. 
because they enjoy holding this driver or the guy maana wanafurahia kumshika dereva wa pikipiki because they are never held that way at home kwa sababu hashikwi hivyo nyumbani so people will travel in different styles kwa hivyo watu watatumia njia mbalimbali life in this world is enjoyable depending on the transport utafurahia maisha duniani kulingana na njia ya usafiri what you use to transport your life kile unatumia kusafirisha maisha yako what makes your journey in life simple kinachorahisisha safari yako maishani number 2 is the route you take in life ile njia unapitia maishani we cannot decide to go to town sote tunaweza amua kwenda town but there are others who must go through keratina kuna wale lazima kwanza wapitie keratina others may want to pass through this route wengine wapitie kuchini but the destination is town lakini sote tunaenda town later when you hear the stories after arrival baadaye ukisikia hadithi tukishafika is how they met obstacles ni vile walikutana na vizuizi how i almost died vile karibu nife the people can give you all stories watu watakupa hadithi za kila on the arrival wakati wamefika that's why it is important to understand the thoughts of god na ndio sababu ni muhimu kuelewa mawazo ya mungu number 2 he says about you now ya pili anasema juu yako sasa he says neither are you always my ways wala njia zenu sio njia zangu so when god looks at your ways mungu akiziangalia njia zako some are full of shortcuts zingine zina njia ya mikato some are full of unfaithfulness zingine zina kutoaminika and says your ways are not my ways anasema njia zako sio njia zangu the way you are achieve things is not the way i achieve things vile wewe unapata mambo sio vile mimi ninapata so these are two very important things hivi ni vitu viwili muhimu my thoughts are not your thoughts mawazo yangu sio mawazo yenu neither are your ways my ways wala njia zenu sio njia zangu so if i can start thinking like god kwa hivyo nikaanza kuanza kama mungu then the result is what god would expect Ma- if he thinks matokeo ndio mungu atatarajia kulingana na mawazo <laughs> the way god thinks and gets results bila mungu anawaza na kupata matokeo if you think that way you also acquire results wewe ukiwaza hivyo pia utapata matokeo somebody say i hear you i hear you our fame as the scripture and iko letu tunalojua sana john 13:17 yohana 13:17 13, if you know these things kiajua mambo haya happy are you if you do them itakuwa heri kwenu mkiyatenda that is jesus huyu ni yesu he lived like his father aliishi kama baba yake and commanded equal results as though the father was on earth na yakapata matokeo kana kwamba ni baba yuko duniani listen and listen to this hebu sikia if you know these things mkiyajua mambo haya so that means there are things that are hidden hiyo inamaanisha kuna mambo yamefichwa there are things that are concealed kuna vitu vimefichika we call them mysteries na tunaziita siri so if you can be able to demystify ukaweza kuzifichua happy shall you be if you start practicing and adopting them itakuwa heri kwako ukianza kuzitendeza one the bible is full of the thoughts of god kwanza biblia imejaa mawazo yake mungu number 2 the bible is full of the ways of god katika biblia kumejaa njia zake mungu and god provoked joshua naye mungu akamwambia yoshua after the death of uh, moses baada ya kifo cha musa that is joshua chapter 1 katika kitabu cha yoshua sura ya kwanza can begin verse 4 5 6 7 and continue kuanzia mstari wa 4 na kuendelea See God tells Joshua Mungu anamwambia Yoshua The life I would want you to experience Yale maisha ningetaka uishi must be the same as the way Moses experienced Lazima nikiwe ni kama vile Musa alipitia Verse number 5 Mstari wa 5 There's a scripture I want us to follow but it's a long story Ni hadithi ndefu lakini ningetaka tufuate And he tells Joshua Anamwambia Yoshua There shall not any man be able to stand before you all the days of your life hapata kuwa na mtu yeyote atakayeweza kusimama mbele yako siku zote za maisha yako so your life can be 
irresistible. Kwa hivyo maisha yako yanaweza kosa kuzuiwa. You can live a life of no opposition. Wewe uishi maisha bila upinzani. Life without challenges. Maisha bila changamoto. And if they come you are above challenges. Na changamoto zikija huko juu yake. This is one man God points a finger and says. Huyu ni mtu mmoja Mungu anasema. There shall not any man be able to stand before you hapata kuwa na yeyote atakaye simama mbele yako all the days of your life siku zote za maisha yako nobody will challenge the grace i bestow upon you hakuna mtu atashindana na neema juu yako no one will contend with your authority hakuna mtu atashindana na mamlaka yako can you say my father my god baba mungu wangu my father my god baba mungu wangu empower my life for victory nijaze nguvu za ushindi empower my life for victory because you can't live an ordinary life and expect unusual results it doesn't go that way if you go a little bit behind from verse number one Moses has died but life has to continue after the death of Moses the servant of the Lord. It came to pass that the Lord spake to Joshua. The son of Nun, Moses minister saying. My servant Moses is dead. Or Moses, my servant is dead. This is an unusual story. Where God Himself came to represent His own servant. And say, Joshua. Don't wait for Moses. He has already died in the mountain. Not of accident. He was not sick. Don't ask me how I have killed him. You have to continue with the journey. Arise, go over this Jordan. These are the instructions. You and all these people. Unto the land of which I go do give to them even to the children of Israel. Uh, listen to this. And these are the strategies of winning. Number one, every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon. That have I given to you. These things, if you know them. What now God is telling Joshua. If you know these things. Happy shall you be if you practice them. That I have given to you every place you stand. That's number four. From where to where. He has explained it. Verse seven and eight. And only be thou strong and courageous. Because this world is not for the cowards. It is for riskers. People that risk. Strong and very courageous. And also. You may be able to observe to take into consideration and listen to this all that is in the law according to the law success is a combination of laws is a combination of laws says, if you are going to succeed Joshua turn not from it to the right or to the left that you may prosper you may prosper in whatever you do or go that means success Joshua is available it is available success prosperity they are available struggle is not your portion Joshua 
Mungu Yoshua. Not one single day did Moses struggle. Hakuna siku hata moja Musa alingangana. So Joshua there is no way you will struggle. Kwa hivyo Yoshua hakuna vile utangangana. If you'll be able to abide and operate in this spiritual laws. Kama utafuata hizi sheria za kiroho. Somebody say I hear you. I hear the next you. verse he says this book of the law so life or success is a combination of laws marriage, good marriage is a combination of laws are you understanding? Amen. it's a combination of laws if you gave my wife meat, ukampa mke wangu nyama, rice, na mchele, onions, na vitungu, everything that you require for stew. Na chochoto ungetaka atengeneze chakula. Then she enters the kitchen. Akiingia jikoni and comes back with the same. Alete vile vitu umempa. After you have she has cooked. Baada ya kuvipika, it will be totally something different. Itakuwa kitu tofauti. So good food. Chakula kizuri is a combination of something in the kitchen. Ndani yake kuna vitu kadhaa. Aha. One day I told her. Siku moja nikamwambia Today I'll cook chapati. Leo ni mimi nitapika chapati. And I said I'll not cook them round, I'll cook them square. Na nikasema zangu sio lazima ziwe round zitakuwa square. You are used to round now I'll cook square. Mumezoea za round nitawapikia za square. Akaniambia hizo utatupigia 20 years to come. Why? Because I want to do the wrong thing it has not been working that way. Maana haijakuwa ikifanyika hivyo. Chapati asipigagwi square aha uh -huh. you need a square pan ah uh, why do you think karai akupika chapati ni round uh -huh. because chapati ni za round mm -hmm. so ukitaka square ena ujengewe karai ya square utatoa chapati ya square so if you enter the kitchen ukiingia jikoni with water milk tea and sugar uwe na majani chai na maziwa na maji na sukari so tea is a combination of things ndani ya chai kuna vitu kadhaa I understand it. Amen. So success is a combination of laws. And we'll be looking at some of the things that have made people shine. Without sweating. Combination of laws. Combination of laws. He says the book of the law. Hey, listen. Shall not depart out of your mouth this book of the law you should retain it in your mouth number two you shall meditate therein day and night not only on Sunday not only on Sunday you look at the entire balcony is empty all those areas are empty just, there are people who chase miracles on Sunday they run after miracles on Sunday but he says if you want success here Involve day and night. Usiku na mchana. You have to involve day and night together. Usisha usiku na mchana pamoja. Meditating on this book of the law. Ukitafakari kitabu hiki cha sheria. That you may observe to do. Na upate kuangalia kutega. If you know these things. Ukiajua mamuaya. Happy are you if you do. Heri kama utayatenda. So the doing is what is lacking. Kwa hivo kule kutenda ndiyo kuna kosa. Doing is lacking. Kule kutenda hakuko. You may observe to do to do according to what is written Uwe, muangalivu, kutenda, sawa, sawa, na and what will be the outcome na matokeo yetakuwa nini for then Maana, thou shall you make your ways or your way somebody say my way zangu. and you remember your ways are not my ways zako, sio zangu. so if you will prosper your way Kama njia zako, is a combination of rules laws 
people that score goals in a football match is a combination of players you don't live from behind and go and score it's a combination of players in the same way he says you shall make your way prosperous so there are people who ways are prosperous and he says and then shall you have good success somebody say good success so there is bad success but there is good success and I pray that in the name of Jesus in this mountain may you always contact good success contact good success and I say there is no way you can be here for one year and you don't have tangible evidence ha. I say you can be here one year and you don't have tangible evidence when you see a child whose hair is turning color there is deficiency of something when I see a believer struggling financially, there is a deficiency of a certain law. You understand? Amen. When you see a child whose legs are becoming there is bald and bold. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. There are sicknesses called rickets. It means there is something lacking in the bones. So when I see a believer who can't pray for 20 minutes in this mountain, there is a deficiency of a spiritual law. There is a deficiency. Some of you can go and visit people or somebody visits your house and asks you what church do you go to? Mountain of deliverance. Hey. So they start looking. What kind of a television? TV yako ni gani? Mountain. Aha. A kind of cooker. They want to see whether your house matches the prayers in that mountain. Oh, mountain. Uh -huh. Because she oh, mountain. Allah, hey. Okay. You can serve lunch and on my letter matumbo na terere. Oh, mountain. Ah, okay. They they still they question themselves inside. And Mountain. mountain? Labda, another mountain. Mm -hmm. Because there are many mountains. There are mountains of swallowing problems. <laughs> there are mountains of glory. This is mountain of deliverance. They look at everything in your house. Ah, mountain. Mm -hmm. Ananikanisa mzuri hiyo nyu kanisa. Napenda vile mnaombaga. Hey, maombi yenu imejaa moto lakini akiangalia au ni moto hapo. They wonder, are you from that mountain? There are people who come. They have watched on television. They want to see the practical of what they see. May God give you a testimony. I say may God give you a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. He says you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success good success <laughs> life on earth does not have special privileges there is not that privilege 
Hey, we are bila kazi. Mpatie kibarua. Mm -hmm. There are no special privileges. From the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffer violence and those that are positioning themselves for violence they acquire what they require. I pray that this year will not end without you having a remarkable miracle remarkable miracle and every year that follows may you testify of mega miracles every year every year that will also come to every month you should look at January this is what God did February this is what happened March, March. April. April all the way to October this is what God has done that is a language I want to be hearing here every month every Sunday in the name of Jesus may testimonies never lack in your life I say may testimonies never lack in your house in the name of Jesus Christ you can command miracles every time of your life the way Moses opened the Red Sea Joshua commanded Jordan they stepped into Jordan it opened the same same grace operating in Moses operated in Joshua there is no way you can be in this mountain one year, two years without a testimony. You have some deficiency that you are not checking. Somebody say, I hear, I hear you. Is it not in your Bible? We are in a race. But listen. Prizes are few. Hey, prizes are few. Zawadi ni chache. We are in a race. Sote tuko mbioni. But the prizes don't accommodate everyone. Lakini zawadi hazitoshi watu wote. You should always know that. Hiyo unapaswa kujua. John 8:38. Yohana sura ya 8:38. What made Jesus command miracles? Ni kitu gani kilifanya Yesu aamuru miujiza? My ways are not your ways. Njia zangu ni tofauti na njia My yenu. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Mawazo yangu sio mawazo yenu. He says, Anasema I speak that which I have seen with my father. I don't do anything outside that bracket. So if you can do what you see your father do, the results will be the same. Can I hear an amen? Amen. He says, Anasema, I speak that which I have seen my father. Nasema yale niliona baba yangu. Anything my father has not said, Chochote ambacho baba yangu hajasema, I can't communicate it. Mimi sita kisema. And you do that which you have seen with your father. Wewe fanya yale umeona kwa baba That's yangu. That's what he told them. Himo ndivu aliwambia. You. You do what you have seen your father doing. But as for me, mimi, I speak. Ninasema. So if you can be able to speak like God, kusema kama mungu, the results will be the same as God. Yako na ya mungu. Somebody say, I hear you. I hear you. Somebody say, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> so life. Is successful depending the combination of rules that you implement in your life. I only speak that which I have seen with my father. I can only do what I see my father do. And the results will be the same. If this one is preached the same here. This word is preached on the same platform. The results should be the same. Thank you for the few. 
the same word preached to you Neno lile lile ninahubiriwa kwako is the same word preached to those who sit in the balcony Nilo linahubiriwa wale wanakaa kule juu Then when we leave this place encounter the same results Na tukatoka hapa tupate matokeo sawa Because the word is the same Kwa sababu neno ni sawa The biology the teacher is teaching in a class Ile biolojia mwalimu anafunza darasani is the same Ni sawa But the outcome is when the exam comes Lakini matokeo yanaonekana kwa mitihani Who were joking in the class Nani walikuwa na mchezo darasani Who were escorting others Nani wanasindikiza wengine Hey who is escorting others? Nani anasindikisha mwingine? Life is not sprinting. Maisha sio It is marathon. Sio kuruka lakini ni mbio za It's not a sprinter race. Sio mbio za polepole. It is a marathon. Ni mbio za nyika. And because it is a marathon. Na kwa sababu ni mbio za nyika. There are those you started before. Kuna wale ulianza mbele. They have already overtaken you. Tayari wamekupita. I don't know what they did. Mimi sijui walifanyaje. To run until now they have overtaken you. Kukimbia hadi wakanipita. They have built their houses. Wamejenga nyumba. They are driving their cars. Wana magari your children are abroad and you started together there must be something there is a deficiency in your life others are doing and you are not doing somebody say I hear you Psalms 115 verse 16 just a foundation then will build uh, on the rest. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's. Bingo, ni bingo zake buwana. This is a scripture that opened my eyes completely. Right from the social hall. I have lived with this scripture. The heaven, even the heavens. Yakwamba bingo ni bingo. These are Prulo, heaven and the heavens. Bingu kwa wingi. Are the Lord's. Ni zake buwana. So in other words, Kwa maneno mengine. God has his own jurisdiction. Mungu anamilki yake. He has his own jurisdiction. Mungu anaeneo lake. But the earth. Lakini dunia. Has he given to the children of men. Ame wapa wanadamu. Hey. Uh -huh. So there is a demarcation kuna mpaka. where God lives and where men live. Mahali mungu anakana, mahali watu anakana. And God's desire Na kile mungu anatamani. is whatever happens there is duplicated here. Ni kile kule hapa. That is why when you pray, you say, Na ndiyo semeni. Thy kingdom come, wako na uje. thy will be done. Hapa duniani. Duniani kama binguni. That's what Jesus said. Hivo ndivo Yesu alisema. That when you pray. Ya kwamba muombapo. Always remember. Daima kumbuka. The heaven. Bingu. Even the highest heaven. Bingu zilizo juu. Are the Lord. Ni zake buwana. But the earth he has given it to the sons of men. Bali dunia amewapa wanadamu. The children of men. Wana wa wanadamu. God. Ya kwamba mungu. Organized a government. Anapanga. Where he brings devolution to the people. Mahali analeta kila kitu kwa watu. How? When you pray, you say thy kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Number two, your will. Your will. Your will. Whatever happens in heaven. Let it happen on earth. Whatever is illegal in heaven. It should be illegal on earth. Whatever does not make people cry in heaven. It should not bring cry on earth. And I pray that in the name of Jesus. Whatever does not resemble God. In your life, I cast it from the root. I cast it from the root. Whatever does not resemble your God, I stop it out of your life. Listen, Jesus is going to Bethany and finds a tree without fruit. Ha. He looks at it and says, What is this? 
In our kingdom, everything my father created should be fruitful. What are you doing without fruits? And he said, this does not happen there. If you can't bear fruits on earth, you are cast. Let no man ever eat from you. I wanted fruits, but there was no fruits. Because heaven requires fruitfulness. Hey, heaven requires fruitfulness. You cannot embarrass the child of God coming to look for fruit and he can't find. Therefore, I judge you just the way my father has judged. I only speak what I see my father speak. If my father has cast you, I also cast you. Let no man eat from you ever again. And that is what happened. God is not happy when you have cancer. He is not happy when you are diabetic. And I stand on the same platform. I cast diabetes. I cast high blood pressure. Every disease that is wasting your money. I cast it today. Whatever makes you unfruitful. Whether it is a cast. Whether it is witchcraft. I cast it today. I cast it now. In the name of Jesus. Whatever makes you unproductive. I cast it in the name of Jesus. Doors that never open. I am opening them now. I open them now. I open them now. Every barrier stopping you from your destiny. I overpower by the blood of Jesus. Whatever enrolls you in the school of hospital, in a demission, I cast it in the name of Jesus. Whatever does not resemble God. I command it out of your life. Out of your life. Out of your life. Whatever makes you struggle, I break it out of your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When you pray, say, Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. Whatever does not look like heaven. May it catch fire. May it catch fire. Cancer is not from God. I command it to catch fire. High blood pressure. Is not from God. I cast it in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout my father my God. As I pray. In the name of Jesus. And by the blood of Jesus, whatever does not look like God, out of my life. Hey, Amen. Listen. John 15, while we are standing. Uh -huh. Listen to John chapter number 15. Verse 5. Normally a very long story here. Of the vine. He says, I am the vine. I am the vine. Who are you? You are the roots. I am the vine. You are the branches. Hey. Listen and look at me here. Equity. equity. Headquarters in Nairobi. Makao yake makuu Nairobi. Nakuru is a branch. Iliyoko nakuru ni tawi. 
You understand? Amen. What happens in the branch resembles the headquarters. What happens in my life on earth <laughs> resembles what happens in heaven. Uh -huh. You look at Absa Bank. Angalia Benki ya Absa. When the color changes, it starts with the headquarter. And the branch must comply. Hey, uh -huh. May that be your portion. Whatever is not in the vine, it cannot live in the branches. Amen. Ha. I understand. Amen. He says to the disciples, I am the vine. You are the branches. You are the branches. He that abides in me. So a branch lives in the, <laughs> in the vine. If you find unhealthy branch, it is attached to the wrong branch. Liko uh, the wrong vibe. Uh -huh. There is something wrong. Kuna kasoro. Imekulwa na siyafu. Sijia siyafu zina panda panda juhi yo miti. Look at this. I am the vine. Mimi ni mzabibu. You are the branch. Nini ni matawi. Ha. Whatever happens in Barclays or Absa Bank. Kinacho tendeka katika banki ya Absa. That is why. Hiyo ndiyo sababu. The manager in Akuru here. You the manager wa banki ya hapa Nakuru. Is called. Mm -hmm. Ah, anaitua branch. Anaitua manager wa tawi la Nakuru. If you see them writing on their door, the CEO. Ukaona mlangoni hey, kumeandikuwa CEO. They will be fired. Mm -hmm. If they in Akuru. Wakimu wa Nakuru. You will just find branch manager. Wanaandika tu ni manager wa tawi la Nakuru. Branch. Tawi. And he looks like what goes on there. I have seen branch managers in Nakuru. Fired. Because he started doing his own thing. I know one branch manager. Najua manager moja watawi. Alianza kuzia watu maploti. Na loans. Kienyeji, kienyeji. He was fired. Because that's not what the headquarters does. Somebody say, after today, whatever does not look like the vine, it shall dry. Amen. Don't allow yourself look like any other thing. Look like the vine. If God is the owner of your business, he should resemble the owner. And the owner does not make losses. You will not make losses. You will not make losses in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As the vine is shining, may the branches also shine. Hey. Uh -huh. And the father Naye baba. is the husband's man. Hey. Uh -huh. Here ndi wanapalilia. Mm -hmm. Na kama ni mungu wanapalilia, hakuna vile biyashara yako itaparara. Amen. Kama ni ya napalilia faida. Uh -huh. Hey, put your hands together for the Lord. Shela malagadada, limbrozo koshata yanda, leko zata yanda la baba bazai. I release the healing of God upon your bodies in the name of Jesus. Anything that does not resemble God, I command it out of your life. Whatever is punishing your life, I terminate it in the name of Jesus. Chronic diseases that cannot be cured, I cast them right now. I cast them in the name of Jesus. I command supernatural grace to start manifesting in your life. Your hands will never lack. I said your hands will never lack. Enjoy the grace that we command on this mountain. Wherever you are watching us, I command the favor of God. The favor of God. 
Kibali cha nothing mungu. missing nothing broken Bila kukosa wala kupungukiwa In Jesus name Katika jina la Yesu Give the Lord a shout of praise Hallelujah Yeko shaka Hallelujah Amen. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Bwana tukujue sana. Amen. When I was a young man. Nilipokuwa kijana. Just employed. Nikiwa tu ndio nimeajiriwa. Because I didn't want to cook a lot. Kwa sababu sikupenda sana kupika. I would cook like five eggs. Nilikuwa napika mayai kama tano. And I eat. Ninakula. Naenda kazi. Aha. Jioni nikija napika zingine tano. I didn't know I was killing my life. Sikujua ninaharibu maisha yangu. Because health is a combination of foods. Maana katika afya njema kuna chakula kadhaa. Until I found my wife. Hadi nilipopata mke wangu. She said no you have been doing it wrong. Akaniambia umekuwa ukikosea. Who so find a wife? Apatae mke. Aha. Sio jiko amepata. Aha. Sio jiko hiyo ni Lucas siyo ya Western. Sio jiko Mungu apeyangi watu jiko uh-huh. has found a good thing. Amepata kitu jema. And obtains favor. Na kupokea kibali. Kaniambia hapana mayai na kulago moja. Aha. Uh-huh. Ah nikajua sikuwa na nakumbe labda nywele yangu ilikuwa inaanza kubadilika kuwa ya warrior. Tunaelewana uh-huh. is a combination of laws. Ndani yake kuna sheria kadhaa. You can be in this mountain for a year. Hakuna vile utakaa kwenye mlima huu mwaka mmoja. Walking, 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 walking. Kila wakati ukitembea. You should drive a vehicle. Here. Unapaswa kuwa na gari lako. You should drive a vehicle. Here. Unapaswa kuendesha gari lako. I was looking at the photographs on the Facebook. Nilikuwa naangalia picha kwa Facebook. On the pictures they post uh, for a Sunday service. Zile picha zinapigwa kwa ibada yetu ya Jumapili even pictures ya magari aha uh-huh. one man wrote there mtu mmoja akaandika yani kanisa magari ni mengi kuliko wafuasi because they took a picture of all the vehicles maana walipiga <laughs> picha ya magari yote somebody commented kwani kanisa magari ni mingi kuliko wafuasi aha uh-huh. nikaandika hapo that is what goes on here uh-huh. <laughs> may that be your testimony. May that be your testimony. Soon or later. What I say on this mountain it will happen. I say it will happen. Get your sacrifices let's honor God. You need an envelope our ashes are available. Our payable details are on the screen. Let us honor God. In Jesus mighty name. Enjoy favor as you go home. Enjoy increase in Jesus name. May heaven reward you. May heaven reward you. You are the blessed of the Lord. The Lord richly richly bless you. Na awabariki zaidi